So there we have an animal cell. You can see some of the organelles within it. The one in the middle, the big round orange one, is the nucleus. So that's where the DNA is in there. You can't really see the DNA. Um, it's all stretched out during the interphase, which is the main phase the cell, uh, of a cell's life cycle. Um, but it's there as the code, the instruction code to run the cell. And it's in the form of chromosomes. Um, and the nuclear membrane surrounds it, protects it, because it's the master copy, the single copy that cells, the only copy the cell's got of that information, so it needs to look after it, but it also needs to have that information available to the cytoplasm so it can function. So the pores allow that information to be copied and moved through into the cytoplasm. And in fact, the copies of the genes, what's called mRNA, they go onto the ribosomes, which you see there in red. They are on the rough ER, giving it the rough appearance, which gets its name, and ribosomes are made of ribosomal RNA uh, and proteins. And that's where amino acids are assembled according to the code on the mRNA, which is the same as the code on the DNA, and made into the string of amino acids, the polypeptide chain, which will characterize later what protein that becomes once it's been to the Golgi body and had the final uh, processing done on it. The mitochondria you see there, large organelles, they look a little bit like bacteria, um, and most scientists think billions of years ago they were bacteria. Over the millennia they've uh, become associated with eukaryotic cells and they do an important job which is making the, the cells energy. Aerobic respiration is what they do. They need oxygen for that. When there's no oxygen, the mitochondria don't work at all. Uh, they will close down. Um, and anaerobic respiration will occur instead for a while, um, producing a bit of energy but not much, and lactic acid, which is um, harmful ultimately to the cell. Uh, mitochondria have their own circles of DNA <clears throat> and their own ribosomes, actually, um, and a double membrane, which is important for their chemical, chemical function, to produce ATP, one of the few universal molecules in biology present in all living things, the energy molecule that helps the cell do what it does. The cell membrane surrounds and controls what enters and leaves the cell. Most molecules can't go straight through it, so they have to go through a specific channel, and the cell can determine which channels are there, which protein channels, whether it accepts, for example, potassium ions or, or sodium ions to go through the membrane, through holes that are established by those proteins. The cell has a double layer of phospholipids and the proteins float in that, what's described as phospholipid C, but it's not a rigid structure, it's a flexible structure. It can be added to when vesicles move to it, it can be taken away from as well when it, the cell absorbs things. And the cholesterol is really there to push in between the phospholipids a bit and sort of squeeze them together. Because although it's fluid, if it's too fluid, holes will open up and then anything will come in or go out and it won't be doing its job. The Golgi apparatus is the last stage in the protein uh, manufacturing process within the cell. Uh, the polypeptide chains have arrived there from the ribosomes through the rough ER and the Golgi, they get joined together with other groups such as prosthetic groups, for example, sugar groups for glycoproteins, heme group, for example, for hemoglobin. These aren't made of amino acids, they're, they're what are called prosthetic groups, and they're attached onto the protein. And sometimes uh, atoms such as iron and copper are added as well to help the protein to function. And the final protein product comes off the vesicles at the end of the Golgi. It may go and be secreted out of the cell. For example, if it's mucus, it might be secreted in the lining of the, uh, of the lungs or the intestine. Um, Hemoglobin may be um, secreted in, in, within a liver cell where it's uh, being, being produced, or it might go within the cell if it's going to fuse to form uh, a lysosome. Um, the lysosome contains what are called lytic enzymes. Enzymes are chemicals that break down uh, molecules. So the lysosomes recycle the components of the cell. When it's worn out, they'll break them down with the enzymes, and the products will then be reused. The cytoskeleton extends across the whole cell, uh, that, hence the name, helps it to keep its shape 
and helps to transport and position organelles, for example, in plant cells. Uh, chloroplasts are, are pushed out to the edge of the cell um, to catch the ima maximum amount of light. And when the cell divides, the, the uh, chromosomes are split up on, on a spindle that's formed from the cytoskeleton. Rough ER is the cavities around the nucleus there. The mRNA will move onto the ribosomes on top of the rough ER. The polypeptide chain will be made from a string of amino acids, and that will be moved through those series of cavities, cavities you see there, and it will end up ultimately at the Golgi body. So uh, to sum up uh, this particular part of the course, uh, we've looked at the cell concept and the fact that all organisms are made of cells and the amazing figure of 50 trillion cells that make up a human uh, body. Um, we've also talked about the difference between prokaryotes, the bacterial cells, the simpler cells, and the eukaryotes, and those are the, the types of cells that make up the human body. Um, we've talked a bit about the cell structure um, and the organelles that make up the cell, the main ones, such as the nucleus, um, the ribosomes, uh, where the uh, polypeptide chain is assembled. Um, we talked about the mitochondria producing energy for the cell. Um, the cell membrane surrounding the cell and controlling what enters and leaves it, and the Golgi apparatus assembling the final protein, the lysosomes destroying worn out organelles and recycling the waste materials, and the cytoskeleton holding the whole thing together, and the rough ER, which is where the ribosomes are situated. Um, <clears throat> so uh, this uh, unit has given you a basic grounding in the concept of the cell and the organelles that make up the cell. So I'd like to th thank you for listening to this particular section. Thank you. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.